Students, in this video, we will be looking into voltage division rule and current division rule. These two rules are widely used in analyzing electric circuits. Along with this, we will also be uh, looking into how to find equivalent resistance if resistors are connected in series or parallel. So, to demonstrate voltage division rule, I am taking this simple circuit and now I am going to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to this loop. The first step that you have got to do for applying Kirchhoff's voltage law is assume a loop current in a direction. So, I am assuming a loop current I in the clockwise direction. Because of this current, you will have a potential drop V1 here across R1 and potential drop V2 across R2. So, the polarities of uh, these voltages can be given now. Current entering terminal as positive and current leaving terminal as negative. Likewise here, current entering terminal and current leaving terminal. So, we have got uh, three potentials now, V1, V2 and V. Sum of all these potentials is equal to 0. That is what is Kirchhoff's voltage law. The second step is I have to select a node and it travels through the entire loop and come back to the same node. So, while traversing, I meet V1 first with the positive polarity first. So, V1 is given a plus symbol and again I meet V2 with the positive polarity coming first. So, it is plus V2. While crossing V, I meet negative polarity. So, it is minus V. Sum of all voltages is equal to 0. So, this is Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now, you can write the same equation as V1 instead of V1, I am going to replace it with I into R1 plus I into R2. So, V is equal to I into R1 plus R2. V is equal to I into I am going to term this R1 plus R2 as R equivalent. This equation can be drawn as R equivalent with potential V. And this is your current I. So, both the circuits are one and the same. Instead of uh, two resistances, I have added R1 and R2 and that is equivalent to R equivalent. So, you can see here uh, current I passes through R1, the same current passes through R2 also. So, whenever there is the same current passing through uh, different resistors, then the resistors are said to be in series connection. So, the seriously connected uh, resistors can be converted into a single uh, resistor by just summing the resistance values. So, R equivalent is equal to R1 and plus R2. So, now let us find what is uh, V1 that is potential drop across uh, R1 which is nothing but I into R1 and V1 is equal to from this equation, from this equation let me term this 1, from this equation I is equal to V by R equivalent. So, V divided by R equivalent is R1 plus R2. Similarly, you can also find V2 which is the total potential into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Here you can see that between these two nodes 1 and 2 the applied voltage is a V and this applied voltage is getting dropped across the elements connected between the node 1 and node 2. So, this V is getting dropped across uh, R1 and R2. Those two voltages are given by the expression 2 and 3. So, this rule let us extend it to a circuit where there are three resistors connected and you supply it with a voltage V. So, which means that now between this node and this node, uh, V is getting uh, applied and this V will get dropped across R1, R2 and R3 and the voltage drops across 
R1, R2, R3 can be found easily by using the expression V1 is equal to total potential applied V into R1 divided by sum of all resistances connected between this, these two points 1 and 2. So similarly V2 is equal to V into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. V3 is equal to V into R3 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. So the applied voltage V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. So this is our voltage division rule. Coming to current division rule. I am using this circuit for uh, demonstrating current division rule. So to analyze this circuit, I am placing the nodes involved in this circuit. So there are two nodes here, node 1 and node 2. You can see that the potential that is the supply V as well as R1, R2 all are connected between these two points, these two points, these two nodes 1 and 2 which means that the three elements are connected in parallel. Students should understand that uh, potential across parallel sections are same. That is potential across R1 is also V, v and the potential across R2 is also V. So now let us uh, take that I is drawn from the source and when it reaches the node 1, it gets divided into two currents I1 and I2. According to Kirchhoff's current law, the incoming current, if you apply Kirchhoff's current law at this node, the incoming current I is equal to sum of outgoing currents. Where I1 is equal to V divided by R1 and I2 is equal to V divided by R2. So I is equal to V into 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. Let me take this as 1 by R equivalent so that I can write it in the standard form that is V is equal to I into R equivalent. So I can map this as a circuit like this now. R equivalent with supply V current I and R equivalent I is equal to V by R equivalent where R equivalent or 1 by R equivalent is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 or R equivalent is equal to R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So you can see here that when the resistors are connected in parallel, the R equivalent is found by using this formula. So now let us find I1, I1, I2 by applying this V is equal to I into R equivalent to this equation number 1 to this equation. So I1 is equal to V is given by I into R equivalent. R equivalent I am going to write it as R1 into R2 divided by R1 plus R2 
divided by R1. So these two terms get cancelled. So I1 is equal to I into R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So likewise, using this expression, you can find that I2 is equal to the total current getting into the node into R1 divided by R1 plus R2. So this is the current division rule where if the total current coming to the particular node is I, you can find the divided current. It is getting divided here into two currents that is I1 and I2. So the divided currents I1 and I2 can be found by using this formula. That is I1 is equal to total current I entering into the opponent hand resistor. See, to find I1, we require I R2. R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Similarly, to find I2, it is the total current I into the opponent hand here is R1, R1 divided by the total resistance R1 plus R2. So, let me apply the same thing to three resistors and show you how to find I1, I2, I3. So, three resistors with V. So, R1, R2, R3. Now, the current I pulled from the, drawn from the source will get divided into I1, I2 and I3. You can find I1 by using the formula I1 is equal to the total current is what? It is I into R equivalent divided by R1. Similarly, I2 is equal to I total current I into R equivalent divided by R2. I3 is equal to I into R equivalent divided by R3, where R1 divided by R equivalent is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. So students, this is how you apply current division rule. So in the next video, let us have a look into the mesh analysis.